something out and challenge them to do three perfect ones. All right, this is the quarterback lane drill. Uh, what we're working here is some vision recognition. Again, giving our guys some reaction drills to train their eyes and their bodies working together and then tying it into a, a football type of drill. So for this drill, it's the quarterback lane drill. As you saw in the diagram, there's going to be three lanes for the quarterback. One's here. That's a run read for our backers. Okay. Two is a 45 degree line right here for the quarterback. Again, that could be a run if they see the ball read. Or if I just show them the hand, that's going to be the indicator that it's a boot or a pass. Play action. All right, so that's lane two. Lane three will be a straight drop back pass for the quarterback. All right, so if they get a pass read, they will drop 45, drop 45 for this drill. Okay, lane one, two, and three. All right, and they're going to do three and out right here. Three good reps and out. So they'll finish the drill, reload, and repeat. Here we go. Bump it over just a tad, Derek. Here we go. Sit. Hoop. Boom, boom, boom. Back, 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 back. Good job, good job, good job right there. Sit. Hoop. Boom, 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 boom. Boom leg. Good job, good job. Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. Last time. Sit. Hoop. Pass, 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 pass. Draw a lead, draw a lead, draw a lead. Good. Get to the football. And that's the quarterback lane reaction drill. Another drill we do is a triangle read drill where we set up three offensive linemen and a back, okay? Set up one linebacker over the center. He will read the back for his first step, and if he were to get any pulls, okay, then he would redirect to the other side. So give him a couple different looks at this, and if, anytime you're chasing a pull, you want to fit inside that pull, on the back side, on the rear of that pull. But again, just train their eyes to feel those under keys while they're looking at the back. Okay, when we're going to set up our individual and, and make sure what drills we're going to do for that day, we got our daily bread, we got our primary drills that we're going to incorporate, and then we're going to have a couple run drills, a couple vision drills, and a couple pass drills. Sometimes you only have time for one run drill, one vision, one pass, but that's the kind of uh, recipe that we try to incorporate when we're planning our practice. Run game drills. This is a great drill, scrape drill. Okay, we're working on getting off a block here. We don't want to deal with those 300 pounders. We don't want to take on too many of those blocks. Chances are they get their hands on us. They outweigh us by 100, 150 pounds. We don't have much of a chance to win. So we're going to line the linebacker up right in front of the offensive lineman who's in between two backs. We're going to give the offensive lineman two aiming points, these two cones right next to the linebacker. Okay, on the offensive lineman's movement, he will take off at a cone. The linebacker will make a downhill step, 45 degrees, okay, not a lateral step, but make sure, coaching point here is make sure they're gaining ground while moving sideways, okay? So a 45 degree downhill step, all right? And when they get to the point where the offensive lineman and the linebacker are going to meet, is we want to get our inside shoulder down, turning our back to the offensive lineman, giving him nothing but our back to push on. If he pushes us in the back, he hopefully is pushing us into the play. Big coaching point is here. When the, that contact's about to happen, we want to try as linebackers to have our outside foot in the ground, giving us a nice base that we can anchor into so when that contact does happen, we don't, go, we don't flop down and get pancaked. We want to have that outside foot in the ground so we can fight the pressure. Okay? So the linebacker will scrape tight, get his shoulder down. Again, tell him to grab grass, tell him to get that shoulder, really rip that shoulder down so you give him his back, he pushes you in the back, he pushes you into the gap. Again, and give them a cone to signify you don't want to get too far, push too far out of your gap. Give them a cone that they need to finish inside of. Scrape drill. Scrape drill we use to uh, get our linebackers to avoid blocks. Um, the technique here is we want to avoid these linemen, these big heavies, by any means necessary. Um, if we have to use a stuff technique or a shed the block technique, we will. But if we can scrape off of them to make a play, that's what we're going for. So for this drill, you got your linebacker stationed here. Your offensive lineman in between two bags. He's got two aiming points on either side of him in these cones. Or on his movement, he's going to attack one of these cones, and our linebacker is going to scrape off his block. Walk through it one time, guys. Pause when you get to the scrape. Go. Stop right here. We want to get our outside foot planted in the ground, linebacker. Okay, so we got a good base in case he does make contact with us. We want to get our shoulders, our body low, and our shoulders turned so we give him our back. Again, so if he gets something on us, he pushes us where? Into the play, okay? Keep your toes pointed up the field, and when you come through the hole, keep your head up. 
so you can make a tackle. Let's show it one time. Again, going either way, CT. Get out your shadow, Derek, and make a play. Good. Reload and repeat. Change it up on them this time. Good. Shoulder down. You guys want you want that guy to scrape grass when he comes by, scraping off that block. If we can avoid getting touched, that's a faster angle to the football. Now, for the last part of this progression, we're going to bring a ball carrier into it. He's going to stand behind the offensive lineman in either this gap or the gap on the other side. He's going to try to fit up in that crease, whichever direction the offensive lineman goes. It should look something like this. Good. Scrape up. Boom. Eyes up, finish, and make the play. Again, keep them under control inside the framework of their body. Again, when they do scrape and they plant that foot and come tight to the offensive lineman, don't let them get their feet crossed up. Okay, you want their base to still be underneath their shoulders so that when they do make the tackle, they drive the guy back and they have some power. Not all the time can you use the uh, scrape technique. Sometimes you've got to use a stuff technique. Okay, some people call this uh, shed the block drill or whatnot, but we're just lining the offensive lineman five yards in front of the linebacker and have him attack the linebacker, okay, with a pad. We're going to run up to the offensive lineman, shoot our hands, button press, okay, getting our head in and then right out of it while we lock out the offensive lineman or fullback, whoever it may be, and two gap them. We put a ball carrier behind the offensive lineman that's going to choose a gap. Now when we get off that block, when we shed them, we want to rip and escape, okay, or once we button press if we have time and we've got separation, we want to scrape right off that block using the same technique we worked in the scrape drill. Okay, this drill is working on stuff technique. We use a stuff technique when you get to that point where you have a blocker on you, fullback or offensive lineman as linebacker, and the ball hasn't really declared which gap it's going to go into. So we got to stuff and shed, okay, that blocker, whether it be fullback or offensive lineman. So we're going to line up a linebacker here, an offensive lineman here with a pad in his hand, and a ball carrier behind him, okay? And we got gap one and gap two. Ball carrier, you fit in either gap after the offensive lineman approaches the block. Again, now for the stuff, we want to get our hands out in front of our eyes and our hips low, okay? If you have your hands in front of your eyes, then you want to be lower than that, okay? And, and have good posture and good football position and be able to locate the back at the same time. Let's try it one time, walk through it. Ready, go. We'll fit up, press him out, shed, and when you shed, you have to press him off you and rip. You got to get off the block somehow, some way. Okay, reload it one more time. We teach the rip, we teach the button press. Let's go one more time. Go. Boom. Fit up. Okay, make sure you see the back. Okay, you got to locate the back before you can get off the block. One last time. Ready. Go. Good, fit up, press, and go. Good. Again, start three quarter speed, and then you can work it into a full speed drill. Three man cut and tackle. Good to use, even if they don't cut um, in, in the level of play that you play, it's good to always, people are going to be laying on the ground inside the box. You're going to have trash you got to get over. So they need to know how to stop helmets and push off and clear their outside leg. Okay, big coaching point here is to stop the helmet with your hand. Palms up, it's not a swat, it's not a swipe, okay? It's a stab. Lock your arm out as much as you can when you push off to give you a little bit more strength. And push back off and give a step. Okay, we want to push back, retreat a little bit with our outside leg to clear us a path. It's more important that I'm late to the football than if I don't get to the football at all, okay? And the main, another main coaching point here is keep that outside leg free, okay? Don't let them cut your outside leg. If they cut your inside leg and you're moving to the right, you still got your, your other leg where you're, that's going to catch all your momentum. So make sure they don't get your outside leg. Tell them to keep their outside leg free. Now once we finish the third cut block, the ball carrier is going to be taken off at an angle to finish inside of two cones. And we want to take a good angle, maintain good leverage, attack the inside number, get our head across roll our hips, run our feet. Coaching points here, again, stay clear of the cut, clean up all the trash, get over all the trash, do whatever you got to do to stay on your feet to get to that ball carrier. Another cut drill or trash drill, whatever you want to call it, is the downhill cut. Um, you don't have to, but you can. If you got a big red ball, we usually start there with the coach behind it. 
The linebacker will start at the top bag, about five yards um, to the side of that bag, and we'll roll that ball out to start the drill. We want to defeat that ball, getting our outside hand out to press off that ball, and then we're into our bags, going two feet each bag, running laterally and downhill at the same time. Don't get your feet crossed over, linebacker. You want to keep your shoulders square, get all the way through the last bag. Then we'll have a live cut after the last bag. We'll have another uh, a dummy guy right there at the end. As soon as he comes out of the last bag cut, man, throw your cut. Again, we want to press off that cut, stop the helmet, keep our outside leg free, and then throw a ball carrier into the mix. Again, attack, attacking at an angle, maintain good leverage on the inside number. Head across, roll your hips, run your feet. Downhill cut drill. Again, we call it a cut drill, but anytime you're playing in the box, you got to keep your feet clean. you got to stay on your feet if you're going to make plays. So we start a linebacker at the top of the bags. All right, walk through it one time, Derek. He's going to go one step in each, two steps in each one of these bags, boom, all the way through. After the last bag, he's going to throw a cut block. Defeat the cut block, buzz by, and make the tackle. Okay, a couple coaching points on the cut. Make sure you get your hands out in front of you and you clear your outside leg. If he clips my inside leg, I still got my outside leg to fall on to maintain my balance. Okay, but if he gets my outside leg, I got nothing to, to lean onto where my momentum's going. And on the ball carrier, we're not going to fit up on the ball carrier for this drill because we don't have pads. We're going to buzz right by him. Ball carrier full speed, linebacker full speed. Again, buzzing by his backside hip, tagging him off at the hips. Let's run it one time. Go. Throw that cut, boom, fit off of it, buzz by good. And again, we want to tag off at the hips to make sure that we got, we can have both hands out to wrap them up if we had to. And that's the downhill cut drill. All right, the next tackle is an open field slash angle tackle drill. Can't get enough work at these because uh, we always seem to be coming from an angle here, outside in or inside out. We'll start with them inside out. As an inside linebacker, the ball's now gotten outside you. We'll start with the linebacker on a cone, and a ball carrier's got a little bit of an advantage. We want the ball carrier to get out in front of us, and we're going to tack inside out with great leverage, stressing that we give them no cutback lane. A cutback lane leads to a missed tackle. So chase the inside number. If he cuts back, he runs right into us. And if he wants to try to outrun us to the sideline, we, have, we always have the option to dive. So we'll start with them inside out, and then we'll position them outside in. The rules don't change. You're attacking the near number. You're trying to get your head across and stop his momentum from gaining any more yardage. Then we'll move on to a, we got a leverage and fit drill where we're set up some pop-up dummies. If you don't have any pop-up dummies, you can put some players in, in spot of the red bags here on the diagram. Start your linebacker as a backside backer and put a ball carrier on the other side. On the ball carrier's movement, he's gonna attack the hole. The linebacker's in a chase mode here, approaching at an angle with not much, with his vision impaired with these pop-up bags or dummy people. And uh, so he's gotta come clear all the trash, clear the mess, and still stay inside leverage on the ball, not giving him a cutback crease, and get his head across and run his feet. All right, leverage and fit drill. A lot of times when you're coaching linebackers, the most coaching needs to be focused on the backside backer away from the play, especially when you're seeing a lot of zone scheme or teams that may cut it back. You want to leverage the football backside the play. Okay, so we have our ball carrier right here. Linebacker, backside backer right there. The ball carrier's going to take off. He's got the linebacker beat, but the linebacker wants to leverage. Again, walk through it one time. Leverage his inside number, his inside, inside leg, okay? Stay on his target and not give the, back, the ball carrier a cutback crease, okay? It's easy to make plays at linebacker when they run it right through your gap of responsibility, but when you're backside to play, it takes a little coaching. It takes some discipline to sit backside and not outrun the ball. Let's go three-quarter speed one time. Go! We'll get that head across. Again, get your hips back to square, drive him back. Don't give him a cutback crease, get your hips back to square and drive him back. That's the leverage and fit drill. The roll tackle, again, uh, when you're chasing someone down from behind or you're facing a back that you got wrapped up but you don't have them to the ground yet, you can incorporate the roll tackle. So we'll practice it, we'll hit on it during practice. We'll set up a pop-up dummy, have the guys, again, hit the dummy, head on one side, wrap them up, good football position, and then Alligator, alligator death roll right at their back. And that's the visual imagery you can use when an alligator's got something in its grasp and he's going to take it down to the bottom of the river or lake and he's going to start rolling to, to submerge his victim. In a sense, we got to do the same thing with the ball carrier. We have him in our grasp, but we don't have him down. 
He's not out yet, so we got to do whatever we need to do by any means necessary to whip his legs out from underneath him. And that's usually rolling to our back as violently as we can. And do this with a pop-up dummy. Don't use one of your own players for it. Okay, after we've hit on our run game drills, move on to our pass game drills. We'll start with an, uh, just open your hips and get to 45 degrees. We'll start the linebacker. We'll set up five, six cones, however many you want to set up, and have them drop 45 degrees. When we get them to drop, we want our guys running as fast as they can. It's not a shuffle. It's, we don't want to be high. We want to stay low in our good football position, pin our chin into our shoulder so we can eye the coach in our zone drop while we get to our landmark. When we get to our landmark, it's an outside foot plant. Throw that elbow around so you can open up another 45 degrees. And at full speed, eye down your landmark and run. Once you're on your path, pin that chin back into your shoulder so you can eye down the coach, all right, and work your way through the cones. When you get to the top cone, we want to plant our foot in the ground and attack the ball. The coach can fire a ball at you at this point and uh, check your hands out. So we're incorporating a little bit of change direction, vision, technique, and catching a football. All right, this is the 45 degree cone drop drill. Again, what we're doing here is we're not reading any routes. Um, we're not worried about any windows right now. I just want them opening and running at a 45 degree angle. When they do open and run, I want them to take that chin and pin it right into their shoulder. Again, it's a zone drop so I can see the quarterback at the same time. When they get to their landmark where they're going to plant on their outside foot, swing that elbow around to open themselves up. Again, staying nice and low. Again, not getting high and top heavy. And redirect and see in their target, and as soon as they see it, and they're full, they get a step into it, pin that chin to their shoulder, eyes to the quarterback, until they get to their next landmark, and so on. Let's go through it one time with two linebackers. Here we go. Good. Boom, break. Outside foot, outside foot, top quarter, good. Get it, finish, 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 good. Oh, nice hands, that's it. Ball, next guy, next guy, here we go. Hustle up, pin that chin into your shoulder, go. Work and work and work and work and get to your landmark. Good, nice and low, nice and low. Finish, 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 finish. A little scoop action, good. Finishing nice and low, chin to the shoulder, pin that thing in there and open and run. That's what we want to see in this drill. Another pass drop drill we work in is we just is an agility drill we can do inside a box. We'll put the linebacker inside a box. You can make the box however big or small you want. We usually use three to five yards. Um, and the linebacker will start in the middle. The coach will stand outside the box facing the linebacker. He will direct the linebacker which cone to attack, whether it's the top right, top left, signaling a pass drop, or the front right, front left, signaling a run. Okay? After each cone he goes to, he will return to the middle of the box and then go to the next cone. Coach, keep him in there however long you need to. You're training muscle memory here. You're training agility, and the harder the work, the faster I get them out. When they do exit the box, there's several different ways you can get them to exit. You can get them to flip their hips and run out the back of the box, 180 degrees. Or you could get them to just attack downhill straight ahead. Okay? Or you could have them open up at 90 and exit the box and throw the ball to them. Incorporate a ball, give them a little challenge there at the end after they're nice and tired. Okay, a box drill. You can do a lot of different drills with a box and agilities. Uh, we try to do agilities, tie in their vision, tie in their reaction, all into one drill right here. Multi-directional drill. You got four cones, all five yards apart. Okay, and we're going to drop 45 degrees back, or attack at a 45 degree angle. The coach is going to tell the linebacker where to go. When we break him out of the drill, he's going to break straight ahead. He's going to sprint right through the coach, or straight back, flipping his hips, opening 180 degrees right out the middle of the box, middle back of the box. Should look something like this. Sit. Go. Back to the middle, go. Back to the middle, go. Back to the middle, out. Come on, get me, come on, get me. Good, 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 good. And that's the box drill we use every day at practice. Okay, line drills. We do these drills to help them uh, with their hip flexibility, trying to get them opening their hips and running full speed, flipping their hips at full speed. We'll start them on a line. Any line you got on the field will work. Give them about 10 or 15 yards space to use on the field. Have the linebacker facing the coach. On the coach's signal, the linebacker will open it one direction and run full speed down the line, Ta still having his chin pinned into his shoulder, eyeing down the coach for the next reaction signal. So he's going to flip him back the other way. So he's running full speed, flip back the other direction, flip one more time, 
And then when the coach signals him to attack, drop your shoulder, coach, to signal him to come forward. He will stick his upfield foot in the ground and come straight down the line at full speed. At that point, we either throw him a high ball to work on high point or roll a ball that he's got to scoop up and recover. I like to roll it to him because it keeps him nice and low sometimes through the drill. But the line drill, again, it's hip flexibility and it's reaction, it's vision, and it's technique. All right, got a line drill here for our linebackers. We want to really get them flipping their hips. We want to almost work one of these uh, pass drop drills every day where we get them really rotating their hip, getting their hip flexibility better, and again, pinning that chin into their shoulder and running at the, at the same time so they can see the quarterback at the same time get to their drop area. But here's the line drill we use every day in practice. Again, I'm going to give him the direction. He's going to open, stay on the line, open, 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 break right back to the coach. Ready? Go. 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 Come forward. Good. Catch the ball. Good. One more time. Get another linebacker up here. Again, we want them to run full speed, not a shuffle. We want them to open and gain as much ground as they can when they run. Set. Go. 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 Down. Good. High point the ball. Tuck that thing away and score. That's our line drill. Okay, the locate and break drill. We use this drill to teach our linebackers uh, not only to find routes, but to get their head back around to read the ball. Once the ball's out, we need to find where the ball's going, attack with a good angle, and make a tackle. So the linebacker will start in front of the coach. On the coach's signal, the linebacker will drop to a cone. And you can put another coach behind that cone where he's dropping to to hold up some numbers that the linebacker has to call out. Two, one, three. Okay, signaling that he's reading the route. But before he gets to that cone, he wants to peek back at the quarterback. If he, once he gets to his landmark, keep his feet hot and break on the throw by the coach to the rest of your linebackers that are standing in line at the other cone. This is a great opportunity now for the guys standing in line to work on catching the football. Good fundamentals, create that diamond, index fingers touching, thumb touching, look to stripe in, tuck it away. Once that ball once my hand comes off the ball as a coach, as a quarterback, I want that linebacker breaking. Not when the ball's thrown, but when his hand comes off the ball. Okay? We want to jump and be aggressive. As soon as that hand comes off the ball and we go to throw it, that linebacker's breaking straight ahead downhill. And once we, what we want to do is not make a tackle here, but for the drill, we want to fit up on that guy, hands right underneath his breastplate, okay, and run our feet. And keep